Have you ever had that issue where you try to use a texture pack and it says that it's incompatible because it was made for an older version of Minecraft? Well, that is exactly what we're going to teach you how to fix in this video so that you can update most of your resource packs to the newest version of Minecraft. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first step will be to click the second link in the description, which is actually a written guide on how to download and install the resource pack converter, which is a software that we're going to use to update all those older texture packs. Now, this software is created by agent did 127. So all credits to this person. I did not create this software. I'm just going to show you how to install it. Okay. For those of you that don't know how to get it. So go ahead and click on that second link. That's our written guide again on how to install this software. But if you don't want to read through the steps, just scroll down to the step one and click where it says click here. Once you click in there, that is going to redirect you over here where you're going to see all the releases for the resource pack converter. You could scroll down here to the older releases and you're also going to see the pre-release in this guide, however, we're going to download their latest release and not the pre-release because the pre-release, as you might imagine, it's a pre-release. So there might be some bugs or stuff happening with it. We're just going to leave it there and we're going to download the release. So just scroll down until you see the release or the latest release if you want, or if you want to test out the pre-release, that's up to you. In this case, we're going to download the latest release. So just click on it and then scroll down to the assets and go ahead and download the resource pack converter GUI. That way we're going to have a GUI and we're going to be able to use it when converting the things. Okay, so go ahead and download that jar file. The first one in here in this case, click on it and that is going to start the download. By the way, also, I want to thank all the contributors that help out developing this software. Again, I did not create it. I'm just going to show you how to download it. And while the software downloads, here's a message from Apex Hosting. If you're looking for a Minecraft server, either Java or Bedrock server, a server that is hosted online and is open 24 seven, and you don't have to worry about IP attacks or IP leaks or anything like that because Apex Hosting is completely safe and Apex Hosting is the perfect service for you. They will actually give you 25% off if you use the first link in the description and they offer over 200 mod pack support with just a click of a button. And besides them having locations all around the world. Something that I personally love with Apex Hosting is that you could actually access the server console through your phone, which means that you could be like a Walmart and either create the server or change the server settings through the server console, kick people out, change the weather, whatever you want to do. It is your server. Use that first link in the description for 25% off. And now let's keep going with the tutorial. Now, once the software downloads the resource pack converter, I want you to go ahead and try and drop it into your desktop. And in this point, at this point on the video, I also want you to go ahead and create a new folder right here in the desktop is fine. It could be anywhere, but let's go ahead and create a new folder and you can name it whatever you want. In this case, I'm going to name it, mm, I don't know, resource packs, right? So I'm going to go ahead and name it resource pack conversion because in this folder is where the magic is going to happen. This is the folder where we're going to convert the old texture packs into newer versions of Minecraft. So what we're going to do now is open this folder and we're going to actually go ahead and drag and drop the resource pack converter into this folder. So just go ahead and drag and drop it from your desktop into this folder. Now, within this folder, you also want to place your old texture pack. In this case, I already went ahead and downloaded one in here called Trident. It's supposed to look something like this. So this is what the texture pack is supposed to look like, but unfortunately it got stopped or it wasn't developed anymore after Minecraft 1.10. Okay. That's a lot of versions of Minecraft ago. So as you might imagine, it's not compatible with the newest version of Minecraft. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is drag and drop this texture pack into this folder. And that's what you're going to do too. Go ahead and drag and drop any texture pack that you want to update into this folder. And I do recommend that you do it one at a time because if not, it could get a little bit confusing. So go ahead and drag and drop one texture pack into here. And now all you have to do is right click on the resource pack converter, click open with and select Java. The only issue that I could imagine that could happen to you right here is that you don't have Java and you will need to install Java. So I'm going to leave this guide in the description. It's a written guide on how to download and install Java 21, which is going to allow you to open the resource pack converter without any issues. As a matter of fact, Java 21 is a requirement for any Minecraft above 1.20.5 when installing mods or using jar files to prevent any crashes or anything like that. You're going to need Java 21. So go ahead and click on that guide. If you don't have Java, super simple. You just download it from here and then you just hit next a couple of times on the installer and you will have Java installed. After installing Java, sometimes you might have to kind of uh, redirect your older versions of Java so they don't get confused with your newest version of Java. Something that I do is just I go to auto remove programs and I get rid of my older Java's 100% and I just keep the newest one. That way there's no confusion. Whenever I use a jar file, it will use the newest Java available. Sometimes you might also have to run a jar fix. So I'm also going to leave that guide in the description. But anyways, I'm assuming a lot of you already got this open. Okay. Most of you will have Java and will have this working. Anyways, once in here, we're going to select the version of Minecraft or the version of the texture pack that we're going to convert to the newest one. So let's go ahead and select in here in the initial version and let's look for 1.10 in this case. For you guys, it depends on your texture pack. What 
whatever version it is, just go ahead and look for it. And now in the final version, we're going to select that version that we want to convert this texture pack to. In this case, I'm going to select the newest one available, at least here in the pre-release. They do have newest versions of Minecraft available, but on the latest official release, they have 1.20.4. Not to worry, this project is still being worked on by the developer. And that's great because that means we're going to get updates and we're going to get things. Hopefully they don't give up on this project because I think it's really great. And it really makes converting texture packs to a newer version way easier because doing it the manual way is just so hard. Okay. Once we select that texture pack version that we want to update to, just go ahead and hit convert. And after the pack is done converting, it's actually going to say uh, zip in working directory and you're going to have the pack converted here to the same folder. And you could go ahead and close out from the resource pack converter and the pack is going to say converter at the end. So as you can see, we have the original one here and we have the converter one in here, which is the one that we want to keep. Now you could actually delete the older one if you're never going to use it again, if you're just going to use the newest one on the newest version of Minecraft. And as you can see, once in the game, we already got the update working. But if you pay attention, some of the tools are not updated or they're not showing here in the resource pack as if they were updated. And that is because obviously this, this software just updates the texture packs or the textures that were in the texture pack to the newest Minecraft, but it doesn't actually create new textures. So if an update happened where they added new texture packs or new things to the game, obviously you're not going to see them here happening. But yeah, now I'm using this texture pack that was made for Minecraft 1.10 in Minecraft 1.20.4. That's probably like a 10 year gap in between those Minecraft updates. And if this tutorial was useful, don't forget to subscribe. That's all I ask in return. And as always, bye bye.